Welcome everyone to CDO's Magazine series of one-on-one -on -one interviews with CDOs, data leaders, and key influencers. I'm your host, Robert Lutton, Vice President of Sandhill Consultants, and coming today from Toronto, Canada. On behalf of CDO Magazine, I have the pleasure of introducing Mark Johnson, who is the founder of Team Central. Welcome, Mark. Welcome, Robert. I appreciate you having us. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to get to, to talk with you and, and, uh, and be a part of the CDO Magazine. Well, on behalf of CD Magazine, we, we thank you for your time. Um, Mark, you know, I was doing a little bit of background uh, research, and I understand that, you know, as you founded uh, your company, Tim Central, in a market segment, which is often referred to as Integration Platform as a Service, uh, IPAAS. Um, and for our listeners, I'm wondering if you could explain what IPAAS is, or whether you uh, pronounce the full acronym integration <laughs> platform as a service, or how do yeah. you actually pronounce it? Yeah, the, you'll you'll hear um, it's it's a Gartner term. You'll hear me probably refer to it as IPAS. Uh, so that's kind of the the way in which people in the industry talk about the the acronym. Thank you, uh, IPAS. Well, there we go. I, I'm learning yeah. something. So for yeah. our listeners, could you explain what IPAS is and the problem it's uh, intended to solve? Yeah. So. You know, uh, the analogy that I like to give uh, when I talk about Central, um, and, and we picked that name for a for very specific reason. If you think about your body and, and, and your, the central nervous system within your, your body, so you have, you know, your brain and your spinal cord and you have nerves and you have all these different sensors within your body. And it's this, it's this very connected network um, that, that really helps drive your entire body. And, and if anything breaks down in that chain, uh, it, it's really hard for your body to operate. And, and that's essentially what an iPads is for business. And so uh, in, in this day and age, data is everything, right? And so you have all these different uh, data sources and things that, that run your business. And you have all these different uh, kind of cross-departmental processes from sales and customer service and warehouse management. And, and, if, and, and it's all driven by data and the connectivity, to connectivity of data and the systems that run those business processes. And if anything breaks down along that, that, that chain, it's really difficult for organizations to, to grow and scale their business. That's what an iPads product uh, uh, provides for a business is that, that data connectivity across systems, across data sources. Um, you know, to give you an example, you, know, you might have um, the customer journey within an organization might start right. in your marketing yeah. systems and your sales systems. But once you 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 actually sell uh, something to a customer, you got to start billing them, you got to start servicing them, and and we help that customer information in that situation uh, kind of get replicated and managed across multiple systems. So it's really kind of a data management automation solution. And as a follow up, uh, Mark, the uh, the iPads we understand is one of the fastest growing segments in the enterprise space. Can you give some kind of indication of what is driving this need? You, you've mentioned, you know, that it's a, it's a central nervous system, but what are, what are the drivers that, you know, clients are clambering for to get uh, an iPaaS solution or offering? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different drivers, Robert, some business and some tech. Uh, from a business perspective, you know, there's really, you know, there's a new SaaS product launched just about every single day <laughs> in the enterprise yeah. space. And, and, sure. and that's incredible from, a, from an innovation standpoint. Um, but but it does cause some kind of counter problems within businesses in, in terms of you have all these different kind of pinpoint solutions that run your business. You know, a lot of organizations, even the smallest of organizations that we that we service, you know, they might run their business on upwards of 20 different systems. Um, and so you have these very distributed data architectures within an organization. But again, all these systems need to, to really be joined together. Um, and so, so just the, 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 the sheer proliferation of new SaaS products and, and, and the amount of data uh, that's being created uh, is, is really one of the main drivers. The, the other main driver and the reason that we're, you know, we're so excited about this, or where we see an opportunity in this space, is there's so much more data being created right. uh, in, in the enterprise space, but just as a whole in the, lives, the, the world that we live in. But there's not enough technologists in the world to be able to support that growth, and so you need to be able to come up with software solutions to make more, make more builders. You know, people that 
uh, have uh, maybe not a, a ton of, of technical acumen and being able to give them the ability to, to solve problems um, that, that someone that's very highly technical uh, can solve. Um, so that's, that's kind of the business drivers as to why this, this space is, is growing so much. Uh, there's technology drivers as well. I mean, the, the data itself is more accessible than it's ever been. So, you, see, you know, we're seeing more and more legacy and on-prem systems uh, move to cloud. Uh, there's, there's standardization in the way in which, um, you know, the data is accessible and the types of formats and authentication mechanisms that we can get to the data. So all these drivers really uh, kind of uh, lend itself to, to a lot of growth in this area. In, when I was listening to uh, your answer there, um, I wanted to ask a follow-up question on the size of customer. Does the size of customer, uh, is it something that uh, that you go after a certain market segment? Do they have to be a certain size in order to take advantage of the iPaaS uh, platform? You know, it's, it's interesting. Our first paying customer was another software company that was like, um series a you know not all that large um and and so the the, the problem space is really almost independent of size you know it, it, right. obviously for more of a of a global company the problems get get bigger uh, but but our focus was really out of the gate on the mid-market you know right. organizations that um they have very complex problems in terms of growing their business uh and managing data but a lot of times they they were more of the the organizations that that found it hard to 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 find really um, you know uh, and retain IT talent uh, and so so we helped to to kind of become and and that's that's really and you'll hear me kind of talk about this in a couple of different instances that that you know the 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 core of our product the central integration platform was picked for a very specific reason. Uh, but the, but the brand name and the and the corporate name of Team Central was was also picked for a very specific reason. Our, our goal is to really kind of become an extension uh, of, of an organization. And so starting in that, in that, that, that mid-market allowed us to do that. Um, what we're finding now is, is through that process, um, you know, we're, we're really having a lot of good conversations uh, with very technical teams and larger teams to allow us to kind of swim upstream to the enterprise. Um, right but also really work with, um, which is one of the things that I'm really excited about, uh, SaaS-based organizations, other SaaS-based organizations, allowing them to build their products on top of, uh, of Central and, and allow them to, to really focus on their, their value proposition while, while we help kind of integrate their systems into the rest of the, the data ecosystem. I, I can see quite easily how other uh, platforms that are looking to bring a software solution to market could use Team Central to help build their solution and offer that. Um, tell me, is the iPod solution, it's a, it's a total cloud-based solution. There's no on-premise uh, software? The, the goal is, in, in the easier installations are absolutely cloud-based data. Uh, right. Most products, including ours, have the ability to to run in what, what we consider more hybrid models, where right. we can um, we can access uh, on-prem information, we can access information in the cloud, and we can kind of do a, a combination of both. But the you know the the absolute you know way things are moving is is that uh, these things will be most ever everything is uh, moving to the cloud. Um, so just a follow up question, um, I, I know that this is a you know, in doing the research, it does seem to be that there's some very established companies in this space. Mm -hmm. What made you and the team decide to enter into this established market with you know very established competitors uh, that you're going up against? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, you know, for for me personally, um, you know, in about the early 2000s, I, I worked at a uh, a company called Mem.com, and it was. Uh, it was basically kind of one of the early days of a online content management system. Their their space was in was actually in in, in kind of death care. So so you upload uh, photos and and stories about someone who's who's a loved one that's passed away, and then and then it was a, a platform for building you know videos and and books right. and things to memorialize that person. And I just 
I loved the experience of building platforms. Um, you know, I, I, I've built apps, I've done tons of other uh, types of things, but, but the idea of building something that helps other builders uh, and other people's achieve things, that, that was something that was personally very, you know, exciting to me and, and something that I, that I really wanted to, to kind of do uh, at a large scale. Um, from, from a business perspective in, in the space, you know, there's absolutely, this isn't a new space and it's not a new problem. Right. Um, but but it's 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 also a problem that I think almost has an infinite amount of opportunities. Um, and so if you if you kind of look at the space in, in the way in which we kind of thought about it, um, you know, you have some some super uh, highly established organizations like your real softs and your informaticas and your tibcos, you know, products that have been boomy products that have been around for a really long time in this space. Um, and then as we were assessing kind of the Kind of the the lower part of this market, or maybe but not lower, but emerging part of this market with right. citizen developer products like Zapier and and Microsoft's Power Platform. Um, what what we saw the opportunity at the, the time, and I think we still see this opportunity, is to really kind of attack the this this area where we can do very powerful things that the that the larger, more established products can do, but do so at this with the simplicity of you know what, what a citizen developer type type product would be and so there's i think there's a ton of opportunity in in doing that um you know the 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 long-term effects of this or the way in which we think about it and the way in which we want to quickly get to uh, and differentiate is not looking at this as just another kind of data mover tool it tool in the space right. it's really to us about uh, workforce uh, kind of augmentation and, and and again back to the name Team Central. Uh, when when you purchase our product, we don't just go away. We we are actively involved in the process of monitoring your data, looking for data quality issues, helping to resolve. And and as we continue to productize that uh, more and more, um, we you know I just think there's a ton ton of opportunity in terms of. Uh, being able to help people do do more with the technology. Mark, an interesting space. Uh, we'd like to thank you for your time today. We really appreciate it. We hope that we get the chance to come back and hear what's going on with uh, Team Central at a later date. Thank you, Robert. Again, I, it's been it's been a pleasure to sit down with you today. Uh, uh, honored to be involved with CDO Magazine, and um, and I appreciate your time. Uh, we thank you for uh, your gracious time this morning, and for our listeners. Please visit cdomagazine.txt for additional interviews. Thank you.